Hey, what's going on, guys? This is X25, and welcome back to more Stormworks. And today we have a brand new update. It is finally here. We finally have trains in Stormworks. It is awesome already. As you can see behind me, there is a very nice looking diesel train. So yes, this is what we're basically going to be doing today. We are going to be covering the train update that got added into Stormworks actually today. It might be tomorrow for you by the time this video gets uploaded and by the time you get around to watching it. But you know, if you are enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So the main up thing that got added in this update was obviously the ability to do trains. Now, there are two trains that I could find in the workshop, and I immediately downloaded. One of them is the steam train that I cannot figure out how to work in my, for my life. This one, on the other hand, is a lot easier. So, if you're a beginner, I recommend to use this one. Because it's going to be a lot more easier than the, trying to figure out how to use the other one. Unless if you're, like, really good with steam trains, and you can try and figure that out yourself. And, surprisingly, the, de the developers of the game did not really do much like as in that I mean they didn't really start do a starter vehicle for this like they don't have a star train I looked it I looked in the workbench and no there is no star train surprisingly I was very surprised about that and this train is called uh, Dawn L78 I assume this is based off of an actual train in real life it looks like it is and this train is an advanced, an advanced craft, as in it has a fuel system and all that. And if we go into the map, well, we need the alpha mode first. If we go into the map, here's the new island, and as you can see, there are two bridges that go to a different island, and then it goes on into another direction. Uh, one, one bridge is the train line. The other bridge is a highway system. So that would be like for land vehicles and stuff like that. So the island that we're at now is called Terminal Komodo, and I'm pretty sure that this is a reference for Komodo Gaming. And I'm pretty sure that the developers have been watching Komodo Gaming lately. And then the other island is called Lighthouse OB. Apparently they've been getting references from Shorks YouTubers because I'm pretty sure this is named after Beautiful OB and then the main island is named after Komodo Gaming. Yeah, I'm assuming Spy Kicks is going to be the next island, but we'll have to get to that in order to find out. So yeah, a couple of references here. So by the way, go check out all of those YouTubers' channels, by the way. They do very awesome content. I actually watch them both, and it, they are hilarious. They are pretty funny, and they are amazing. They are basically my idols. Anyways, back to the video, and there is another at the add in this update, which is a micro, micro, uh, chips, I don't know what they're called, micro, uh, micro assets or something, like, really, who make sub-assemblies or something, I don't really know, like, micro controllers or something, I don't remember what the name of them are, but, yeah, that's what they basically had, and it along with a bunch of bug fixes and stuff like that. You can read the news page if you really want to know what they fixed. But, yeah, this is uh, completely different from what I was expecting. If you remember the last video that we did for Stormworks, uh, one uploaded a train, and it was on a special rail system. It used a new rail system that came out in another update that I did not cover. It wasn't really significant enough, but this update is huge. And yeah, I'm obviously doing a video on this, but yeah, so basically they use a custom rail system in order to, to work for a train. I'm wondering if they're going to re-upload that creation so that way it would be compatible for these train tracks. Yeah, but I was expecting something more like that than all of it. So, this being an advanced craft, we are going to need to turn on the pump the first thing. This thing has a very interesting start procedure to say the least. Wait a second. I forgot. Easy on cabin pressure. Okay, that's already on. So let's turn on engine power. Yeah, there's a special switches or circuit breakers for you to turn on the different powers. Like, there's one for cabin power and then there's one for engine power. 
So, Count Power allows you to turn on controls, like pumps and all that. I'm going to turn on that, and then there's fuel valves. Let's turn on that. I have the brakes on max right now, so that way it doesn't end up rolling anywhere. Okay, so let's just do that. And then here's the brakes. I'm going to turn those down. To basically off. So let's get that down there, like so. Just like that. Let's turn on the clutch because that's going to be very important. Especially when it comes to driving a train and in order, in order for it to work properly. I've had, I found that out the hard way, unfortunately. But yeah, I know how to do it now because I wasn't. Now it lo actually looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's 25 behind the scenes for you right there. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to uncrouch, but I still need to... Yeah, you can switch cabin controls, and this thing actually has hit controls on both ends, which means that you, you can go to the other side of the train and you can control it from there. And there, is, there are trains like this in real life. I believe that they're freight trains, though. What? Let's a little bit. And then reverser, you want that up as well. At first, I thought that this wasn't going to help us, but apparently it does because first time I actually started this thing up and I went full throttle, I ended up reversing back into the wall and damaging the vehicle because I do have vehicle damage on. Let's turn on the lights. And one start. Go. Very, very slowly. <laughs> there we go. Engine 2 start. So. Why am I not hearing the engines? That's not good. I might have did something wrong. Oh, crud. That's why I screwed this up already. I probably did. Let's turn down the clutch. I think I did it in the wrong order. Yeah, I think I did it in the wrong order. You gotta be kidding me. Why? Okay. Oh, let's see. Is there anything I forgot to turn on? Pretty sure there isn't anything I forgot to turn on. Let's see, that's manual engine control. Throttle, blah, 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 blah. Switch throttle controls. Uh, let's... Okay, apparently I didn't, didn't want to turn off. There we go. Turn back the reverser. I'm pretty sure that was the issue. Something turned on and it was red. I don't like the look of that. One zero. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to start the engine. So, here we go. Why am I not hearing the engine? This isn't good. And one of the gauges is freaking out as well, I'm noticing. Hold on. What is this? Okay. We'll feel. Feel pressure. I think I'm doing something wrong, I swear. Hold on. I'll return, we return this to Workbench. Look, they fixed that physics as well. With the whole return to Workbench thing. Before, there were certain areas where you couldn't really 
where you had to hover over in order to get it. Hold on, it's going to be a cool. There it is in all its glory. I don't really know what happened there. Maybe just a bug? I don't know. Let's see if I can do this the right way. Apparently I didn't do it the right way. Not that I screwed this up already. When X was when X was supposed to cover the new update formwork, he accidentally screwed everything up on trying to drive a train. <laughs> yeah. Most of the comment I can see the comment section already. X is a terrible per is a terrible driver. That is not true by the way. Do not post that in the comment section. I am a very good driver. Mind you, with many things. And that's including trains. Okay. Cabin power goes on first. I said cabin power goes on first. What the heck is... There we go. Go. I think we need the fuel valve to... I'm just doing the same process I did last time. I turn on the full valves. So, let's do that. Let's turn on the... The engine start. Let's turn on the engines now. We want it to start now. Get the fuel pumps on. There's a weird thing when it. I'm gonna do it one, and now I need to. That. Start the DR engine. that one because apparently I screwed this thing up. So let's turn on this again. There we go. Wait, I know what the issue is. I need to turn on the clutch. There we go. Now we should be good. Uh oh, I forgot about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reverse or reverse, 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 reverse. Come on, go, 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 go. There you go. Back to you. Doing the clutch. Why is the engine still idling? I think it's because I don't have it picked up all the way. There it goes. I think it stopped. So, let's get moving, shall we? Yes, now we're moving. There we go. Yes. Good. There we go. See, I know what I'm doing. I don't care what the what the other people say. I know what I'm doing here because I'm X25, and I want to look like a pro at these. There we go. A99, 100. We are at full power, so again, fire routine. Okay, not fire routine. It's kind of deep breathing. Does take care. Gotta go put fuel there. Dog line. There we go. We're doing it, boys. We're driving a train. Looks like you can get up on the roof. If I can see a ladder that leads up there. Oh, this is awesome. I love this already. 
pretty sure you can attach two of these things together, and then just make a, a train with twice the amount, the amount of power. I'm wondering if someone's going to make a high-speed train. Someone probably is. I can already see someone making one right now. Yeah, I really wish, I really hope that other, that more trains will get uploaded to the workshop. There's the highway, by the way, along with some other stuff. This is like a vehicle hub or stuff. I'm guessing that also puts ferries to good use, too. I wonder if this island has a dock somewhere. I don't see one anywhere, but I'm assuming it does, due to the fact that the Arion, all the Ar every other island has a dock. Oh yeah, it does. I can see it. I actually like the sound of this train. It sounds nice. Now, something else I'm wondering. How do you, uh, switch the tracks? Like, does it do it automatically, or... Do you have to do it yourself, or do you need to do something to make it work? I don't know how it works. Like, how do you make the track switch? Hold on. Where do, what, are the, what are these things? Okay, apparently they're just signals or something. I have no idea how to work. I don't know. Maybe they'll tell us. Maybe those things are supposed to be for switching the tracks. Maybe, need to, maybe they're like interactive things. Maybe they're something that you can interact with. I'm pretty sure that one's floating. Yep, that one's definitely floating off the ground. Lovely. Wait, no, that is a signal. Okay. Well, then, how do you change the track? I'm wondering that right now. Sorry about popping a microphone, by the way. I don't know what's doing it. Wait, does it pick it up? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm just checking. Sorry, I am... Um Listening to my, my microphone, my nose is itchy, so I'm scratching my nose, and you're probably hearing the microphone pop from that. So yeah, this is what it basically is. It's a train line that runs along the highway. Well, they both run alongside each other. How fast are we moving right now? I can pick it up in here. Whoop! Go in here. Is that speed? Let's check. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's definitely speed. We are going at a whopping... 59 kilometers per hour. I'm pretty sure that's in kilometers. Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in miles per hour. Anyways, back to this camera angle. Because we get some good cinematic. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pro train driver right here. Only on X25. Subscribe if you haven't already, by the way. And if you do happen to make a train for this game, send it to my Discord, where I conveniently have a tab there for Stormworks stuff. So, feel free to join my Discord. I will leave a link to it in the description, as always. I don't really mention it as much as I did before, mainly because I saw that not very many people were paying attention to it. Actually, Correction, no one was really paying attention to it. Probably because I don't have that many subscribers yet. But, yeah, once I get more subscribers, I will start mentioning it more. Right now, I just mention it whenever it's necessary to do it. And every once in a while as well. Wait, are we uh, on the edge of the map? I think we are. Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. A little mini map thing, it was. Again, no, no, that's strange. Huh. I wonder if someone's going to make like a super fast, overpowered train. Pretty sure someone is going to try. Then again, it might end very badly, and the train might go flying off the track. Yeah, I'm interested to see what kind of trains people can come up with. You never know what's going to pop up on the workshop. <laughs> Yeah, there was literally an island that that I saw that got uploaded to the workshop about a week ago. It's called Castaway. So I'm guessing it's inspired by the movie Castaway. 
Like, it's even got the FedEx box on it. But sadly, Wilson is not on the island. Yeah, it was literally just a mobile island. It was something very random. But yeah, we are currently just moseying along our bridge. This is very odd to see a bridge out in the middle of the ocean. I would probably be very surprised to see something like this. Yeah, it would definitely be very, very, it would definitely be very weird. Oh, I can see the our island already. We're, we are about halfway there. I'm getting a little, I'm also getting a little bit of drop in the frame rate, probably because of the, probably because of the creation itself, but that's just a possibility. I'll probably try and attempt to make a train myself, but it's highly unlikely because I am really, I'm not really a builder in this game. I'm more of a builder in scrum mechanic and brick breaks. I could try and encourage myself to build at least one thing in this game, though. And yeah, I can definitely feel the frame rate drop here. You can definitely tell because of the smoke. Here. You can see the little bit of drop of frame rate. Although the motion, like the motion effects that this game has, it does a very good job of hiding the lag, if you will. It does a really good job. And I'm guessing that this is a lighthouse island that we're coming up to. Okay, we got, we now do any other part of the map? Oh, yes we do. What is this? Kalo, I am very sorry for the person that is named after this island, but I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Kalopsidiotis chemical storage. No idea. I'm very sorry for whoever, whoever's name that is. I'm, I'm assuming it's a YouTuber because because of all the art because of the R2 Islands. But it's yeah, it's Kalopsidiatus or something like that. Chemical storage. I'm assuming it's like a factory island. Here that I'm wondering if it's like a. I'm wondering if it's that factory island that got added in our update, in the fuel update. Which is where you can get fuel from. Yeah, that's the cargo hub. Here's the White House Island that we're coming up to. I'll probably go part two of this, just so that way you can see all the islands. We're maybe a time lapse. I have a feeling that'll be very interesting. That'll be very fun too. And by the way, if you remember in the last video, I finally got my intro to work on my channel. Yes! You're like, finally, a monumental epi it's like a monumental video because I finally figured out how to implement an intro into my videos. Yes, I finally figured it out. It took a lot of pain and agony, and I'm not going to explain the whole entire process for it. <laughs> I'm just not going to. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Wait, I can already see the other island. Wait. How far away is it from the lighthouse? Island? Actually, not that far. Yeah, actually not that far. I'm guessing that the uh, train line runs uh, runs on like an island chain. Same thing with the highway. And then once you get to the end, the line just stops. I'm guessing there's like an art base on the other side that you that's not really unlocked yet. Wait, what the thing? Wait, how are you people, I'm wondering? Because I don't know how much fuel this thing has, but I'm going to check really quickly. Where's the fuel? Which gauge is the fuel? That's the fuel pressure. Okay, we still have plenty of fuel. We're good. Okay, we are inside the fuel tank. That was weird. Yes, there's the island. There's the lighthouse island. We are coming up to the Bufo B Island. Bufo B will be proud. So, anyone, any YouTubers who are watching this, like Komodo OB or Spy Cakes, just so you know, you're you you now have a reference in Stormworks. Well, maybe not you, maybe not you Spy yet. I just haven't. You probably do. I just haven't discovered it because uh, there's obviously more than 
property islands here. Probably is a uh, a uh, uh, an island named after spy cakes. And I an island named after spy cakes. Yeah. I I can't talk today. That's how that's how speechless I am for this update. <laughs> I'm I'm now realizing that I'm now I'm realizing how slow we're actually going because it looks like that we're getting closer. But then you look at the map and you're like, oh, we still have ways to, we still have ways to go. Yeah, it's very misleading the render distance in this game. It looks like that we're going fast. Like we went quite some di we went we got in quite far actually. And no, I am not going to attempt to drive the air train. If you remember earlier, there's only two trains up below in the workshop currently. I'm assuming tomorrow there's going to be like way more. But yeah, no, it's not happening. I am not attempting to drive that train, that steam train. It, I've already tried it. Was well, a pain to get started. Like it lasted for about like, uh, let's say 20 or 30 feet, and then it just shut down for some reason. I don't know why it shut down. But I can figure it out. But anyways, we are getting pretty close to the destination. I'm now realizing how fast we're actually going. Never mind. Very deceiving once you zoom out because we're pretty really moving slower. I really and I really want to know when, where exactly this goes. It looks like it curves around or something. If it goes that way. It, from the looks of the, from this point, like from how much we've uncovered, it looks like it goes like this. It arches, but that's just a pre my prediction. It could be, it could be winding around. It could be winding around. Or I'm guessing by the time we get to the island, we're going to be unlocking and our we're going to be and our portion of the map is going to come in, and we'll add. I'll probably have this game save as the as it. I'll we'll probably have this game save game saved for once. If you don't know that, I completely start a completely new game every time. So yeah, I don't really save games that much, except for a career mode that I accidentally got cor corrupted the save file with. I wanted to actually save it, but uh, apparently you did not want me to. Like looking at the map just so that I'm um, just so that like every foot like every pillar we pass I'm um, making sure that I'm just checking to see if there's any island and I'm pretty sure I can just barely see an island in the distance past the factory island I can see the factory island it's not that far hold on let me get the yeah, you can see the island like just to the left of the light of the lighthouse on oh, the white house <laughs> And then, in the, like, right above that little landmass, you can see it barely through the fog. Hold on. If I have a time of day weather on, I do. I'm going to override them. Just so that way, we can get maximum visibility. So, let's get all that down. I'm not going to spot tsunami. Actually, that might be interesting. How are things going to react with tsunami? I need to do a video on that in the future. And now we are busy covering the update, which is trying to make it the next island, which is literally taking a million years. I really want a faster train. I'm probably going to go and look around on the workshop later on after this video, just to see what pop what has popped up, because it's been a couple a good couple hours last time I looked. And yeah. But we're getting to that island. We're probably just going to stop that. We're probably just going to stop at that island and then call it there. I'll probably continue my exploration of this in another video because this is taking way longer than I expected. Yeah, way longer. And how? And how have we not unlocked our portion of the map? I am not. I'm not really sure. But we're getting to the Lighthouse Island. 
it's actually good now that we now have two lighthouse islands. I know there's one that you can't really get to. The only way to get to by boat. I'm pretty sure it's that one right there. But yeah, now you actually have one that you can actually get to. It would be kind of nice. It's kind of like a miniature version of Hawaii almost. Like you got the big island all the way down here. You got Maui, you got Oahu, and Kauai, probably in the Nihau. All the major islands. Oh, sorry. And I forgot my controls for a second. <laughs> I forgot how to play the game for a second. And now we're back. We're getting so close and the tension is rising. Oh my gosh, it's taking so long. I feel like this train is taunting me. It's going even slower now. Oh yeah, I can definitely see an island now behind the factory island. You can definitely see it now that now we're closer. I'm picking the map again. I really want to know what our islands are, as you can see. I am very determined to find other islands. But I don't think that's going to happen this episode. We are because we are about to arrive at OB Lighthouse. Wait, that was called? Yeah, Lighthouse. I had I had it I had it backwards. Lighthouse OB, not OB Lighthouse. Ugh, sorry, I'm just very tired. Wait, what time is it right here? It is almost 11 o'clock at night. Jeez, that's like oh, there's a little house over here. I'm guessing that's like the lighthouse keeper. I'm definitely going to be exploring a lot off camera. So that way, I can show you guys all the islands that they added, because there's a ton. Wait, does the train even stop here? I don't think it does. Wait, what? How does that make sense? What? Why is this not, why is it not stop here? Wait, it doesn't... There's no station over here. What is this? But there's a small village over... Well, there's a house over here, though, at least. So we know that the island's populated. Once. There's a ton of islands that are not populated by anyone. The highway doesn't even stop here. I haven't even seen exit off the highway. What is this? cares about this island seriously there's no exit anywhere it's a scam there's no exit oh no this poor island that doesn't have an e wait never mind it has an exit off the highway but it doesn't have an exit up for the train it doesn't even have a station why I'm wondering why that is wait how Okay, I was just curious on how long the exhaust goes. That's that's all. It comes something completely random. But yeah, here's Obi Lighthouse. Very small island. And just a very small house. Maybe I should get a, like a like an F1 car or something or and race it down the highway and see how fast we can go from island to island. That would be something interesting. Oh! There's an R Island. What is that one? Nothing. It doesn't look like that's an actual island that was named. Yeah. There's that island. And we are now crossing it. And continuing on our journey. Huh. Sweet. Although I still am surprised on by the fact that there's no train station here. The train just continues on its mosey journey. Just moseys along. Which is, yeah, we're just going to keep on moseying along here. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. I, 
hope you guys enjoyed. Before we leave, I am going to... I really quick. See if the lighthouse works. Oh. Oh, looks like it does. Or so slight. Oh, you can even see the light from the main station. That's cool. Wait, why is the the house on? It's the ghost. We're reading on. The, ho the house is haunted. That's weird. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to call this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm just going to continue moseying along in my beautiful diesel train. And I'll see you guys next time.